What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is the second version of my 2-1 command block MC edit filter. After the initial version was received very well by all of you, I decided to update the filter and give it some cool new features. Now, once again, I'm here in my grappling hook world and um, yeah, Please watch this video even if you have already seen the first one because this is really important to understand some of the new features. Now first of all what do the grappling hooks do? Um, when I throw them they just uh, teleport me wherever the uh, head of the grappling hook went and yeah so this is just uh, for the demonstration and these are the command blocks that are necessary. Note that all of these are on fill clocks and this is the only thing that the filter is still compatible with. Okay, now let's do scoreboard objectives list and see all of the scoreboard objectives. So we have to add a few command blocks to get the filter working because these are all of the command blocks that get executed all of the time. Uh, when placing the command in your world, but there have to be some commands which are only executed at the beginning when creating the command. And these are, for example, the commands that add the scoreboard objectives. So we simply um, uh, write some scoreboard objectives add commands, which basically create all of those scoreboards. Um, that are necessary. So let me just um, put all of them in. And yeah, um, if we want to have some messages which are being uh, sent to the player when um, placing down the one command, we can simply add some tell raw um, to uh, these command blocks. For example, uh, grappling hooks have been installed. And let's make it gold, or rather red. Okay, so let me just uh, test the command once. Yup, that's what we need. So um, uh, the important part for the filter to determine whether the command blocks should go on a clock or not is whether they are powered by a redstone block. So these are not powered, so they only um, are executed once. And then you can also place down some signs. I recommend using the JSON sign generator, which I wrote for that purpose. And yeah, in this case, I just um, have grappling hooks by crushed pixel and uh, a sign which basically gives you a hook. Please note that um, these signs are being placed in the order of which uh, redstone would be executed. So first a negative coordinates and then positive coordinates. So this sign will be placed above this sign. Okay, now this is everything we need to prepare here. So let's just save and quit to title and get over to MC Edit where we have all of the stuff we need ready. So let's just select everything we need. Make sure not to select uh, any other command blocks which should not be in the contraption. Then you hit filter and select 2.1 command version 2.0. Now here you can define what the uh, box which is being created later should look like. For example, the top and bottom material can be clay if you want, instead of bedrock, and the wall material can be uh, lime stained glass, because that looks probably a lot better than just bedrock and normal glass. Um, then there are some miscellaneous options, like add a delete sign. If this is checked, there is going to be an additional sign and when the user right clicks this sign, the whole structure is going to be removed again. And there is an option called update game rules. And if this is enabled, 
a game rule command block output false and the game rule log admin command false command are being added to the command blocks that are being executed once. So if you forgot to add these commands to um, these command blocks here, you can simply leave this checked. And finally, remove the static slash fill commands. In the first version of the filter, you had to manually remove these slash fill commands before running the filter. This is not necessary anymore if you keep this bo box ticked. So uh, let's get to the second tab here actually, which is obfuscate scoreboards. And this is a new point, which is um, pretty important that you use it because um, imagine that a player wants to have multiple command block creations in his world. And let's say that these use scoreboards with similar names, for example, uh, age. This contraption uses the scoreboard name age. And what if a different command block contraption also uses that scoreboard? It might happen that both just stop working because um, they are incompatible with each other. So therefore, you can uh, insert a prefix here, for example, GH for grappling hooks or CPGH. And um, if this prefix is not used by any other um, command block creation, it's, um, it's most likely going to be compatible. So this is just to rename the scoreboards automatically to avoid uh, confusion with other command block creations. So I really recommend that. And if we have all of that checked, we just have to hit filter and we get a command block in our clipboard. If we hit control and V, we can paste it somewhere. And this command block now contains the one command that was generated out of these command blocks. So let's get back to Minecraft and actually copy the whole command. You can now um, use this command, import it in any world and it's going to recreate the command blocks uh, of the grappling hook. So let me just create a new flat world where I can demonstrate the command to you. So let me just give myself a command block, a redstone block, paste the command inside of the command block and you see that the structure is going to spawn just as we want. You see, it says grappling hooks have been installed and it also deactivated the command block output like we told the filter to do. So if I just uh, right click here, I can of course give myself a hook. And it works just as it did when we um, had the redstone without the filter. So let's do scoreboard objectives list. And you see, as we defined, we have CP, GH for crush pixels, grappling hooks, um, A, B, C, and D instead of the scoreboard names that we had before. And yeah, this is just for the compatibility, as I already said. And you can just go ahead and use it however you wish. And once you're done and you don't want to have the command anymore, you just click to remove the structure and you can, of course, spawn it again. And yeah, that's all of the new additions that have been made to the filter. Personally, I think that it's pretty nice that you don't have to remove the fill clocks anymore for it to work. But there is an option now in the filter which does that automatically for you. The download link is of course in the video description. If this filter is helpful to you, please spread the word and tell your friends about it. And I would of course love to see some cool creations with this. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed and a subscription if you want more. Bye!